For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip for you. We've been looking over the course of 25 videos on how to do searches Chess Base 11. We've been looking at all kinds of searches. We've, we haven't even covered every single bit of every single dialogue, and it's taken us 25 videos to show you the flexibility of searches in chess base, all the different things you can do with the different parts of the search mask. For today, our 26th video, we're going to start putting the pieces together. We're going to show you how to combine searches in chess base 11. Yes, you can use more than one part of the search mask to make a combined search. We're going to use the Mega Database today because we're going to look at some games of Garry Kasparov. So obviously you wouldn't want to be looking at old classical games from the 1800s. You'll remember if you go back far enough, as I do, back around 1990 when Garry Kasparov was playing a world championship match against Anatoly Karpov. Uh, as black, Garry played the King's Indian defense a lot. It's actually kind of a trademark opening of his. Uh, actually, as we'll see, it goes the whole way back into the 80s with Gary. We're going to look for games of Gary Kasparov playing the Kings in the in defense, but what we want to find is annotated games. So we'll show you how this works using the Mega Database. Right click, select search. We want games of Gary as black, so we're going to click in the box next to black and type in Kasparov and uncheck ignore colors. We just want the games of Gary as black. The ECO code of the Kings Indian Defense, we've seen in a previous video how to find ECO codes by using the opening key that comes with the Mega Database. So I've already looked it up. I knew this anyway, but I went and double checked it. And it's E61 to E99. I used the opening keys to find that, but it said I've known this for a long time anyway. That's all we want here. We want Gary Kasparov's games as black in the Kings Indian Defense. Then we go to annotations. There's all kinds of annotations we can choose from. However, it's very rare to find an annotated game that does not contain variations. It happens, but it's pretty rare. Typically, if you have an annotated game, it's almost always going to have variations in it. So we're going to click variations. That's all we need. We're going to find annotated games in which Gary Kasparov played the black pieces in the King's Indian Defense. We click OK. And we wait a few moments, and here comes our search results. Here we go. It's done, and we can click on any of these games, and we can see that they do indeed every one of these has annotations. And we can play through these. The reason why we want annotated games is we frequently get ideas, we get explanations, all kinds of interesting things are found in those annotations rather than just looking at raw game scores in which there are, uh, you know, we have to try to figure it out on our own. We like having a little help whenever we can get it. Notice that a lot of times the annotation is in symbolic commentary, such as right here. However, if you don't know what the symbols mean, you will find those in the help file in Chess Base 11. You will find uh, these symbols, and you can print that page off and keep it handy if you wish. But these are the informant notation. Basically, it's the international language of chess. Uh, all these symbols actually mean something, like this little semicircle here means better is 10 bishop e3 rather than what was actually played, knight g to e2. As I said, the more things you search for, the more things you put in the search mask, the less material you get back. So, for example, if I was to narrow down our search by some criterion, we would get fewer games. In this particular case, I'm interested in an additional maneuver. I want all of Gary Kasparov's games as black in the King's Indian Defense, in which a black knight went from c6 to d4 sometime in the first oh we'll say first 20 moves so we'll go from move 5 to move 20 don't have to worry about length because we only have just this one maneuver black knight on c6 goes to d4 we click OK the search is done and we only have three games and we can play through them <coughs> excuse me And there at move 10, the knight goes to d4. As we play through this game, we'll see the same thing. This time at move 9, Gary moves the knight to d4.
This time it happens a little bit later. Move 10. But here's a kind of an interesting thing, which is that the next move that white plays is knight g5. Now, one of the things that you, I was thinking about with this particular maneuver is there's typically a knight on f3, a white knight. Why would the white knight not immediately take on d4? Well, Garry Kasparov himself annotated this game, and we can see exactly why. What actually happened in the game was this. The knight went here, but we do have a nice little annotation where Gary explains that if the knight takes on d4, pawn takes, knight has to come back to e2 because it's threatened by the pawn, then this pawn jumps up and now black has this nice pawn center and white, the knight basically isn't doing anything, it's kind of sitting there, it's, it's over protecting f4, but you've already got a bishop and a rook doing that, that knight really doesn't have too much of a future. If it goes to g3, it really can't go any place useful from g3. And, uh, of course, it can't go to c3 anymore, and it can't go back to c1 because the bishop is there. It can't go to g1 because the king is there. So that knight's kind of stranded there on e2 and has to wait for some other things to happen to get out of there. So that's why taking on d4 is not a good idea for white, and we found that in an annotated game in this database. So that's why you want to search for annotated games. You typically find explanations and, uh, and things you wouldn't find in unannotated games where you just be scratching your head and wondering why things happen the way they do. So that's how you combine your searches. You can take different elements of the search mask, things under different tabs, and combine them to do a search and come up with just the material that you want. For USCFSales.com, I'm Steve Lopez. Thanks for watching.